I'm Ann Kristin Björström and I work at Stockholm School of Economics in Stockholm, Sweden. I've been working at the school for 23 years now. Uh, I started out working with the um, programs within finance for executive education. And since 2007, I worked with the uh, SSE MBA executive format, the executive MBA program at the school. Uh, and as such, I work as a program advisor and with admissions to the program. Uh, really enjoying it, working with my partner Helena Bergel. Uh, we have been working together for soon 14 years now, uh, and we really love what we are doing. We are so super proud of our program and our participants. Stockholm School of Economics, it's a private business school, uh, so it's quite unique. Uh, it was founded in 1909, so more than 100 years ago, by representatives uh, from the uh, Swedish business community. They realized that they needed to have a good education within economics and management to succeed as managers and as businesses. Uh, and as such, we are still very connected with Swedish business life. And we have among our corporate partners who are funding the school, uh, very well known Swedish uh, organizations like H&M, Ericsson, ABB, Scania, Atlas Copco, um, IKEA, for example. So we have a strong connection with the business life, which, which is quite unique for for school. Um, the school is uh, ranked as the number one in the Nordics by Financial Times. And then the executive MBA program, the SSE MBA executive format is at rank 60 in the world. Um, the SSE MBA program, it's, um, um, well, it's a degree program at the school. It's quite small depending on what you compare with but we have around 50 participants in um, our classes normally. Uh, around half are, have a non-Swedish background. Um, average age is um, 39. We have uh, around 40% women in our classes. And uh, it's very, very diverse when it comes to um, age, nationality, industries, positions, uh, whatever, uh, because diversity is really, really important for us. We work a lot with the diversity in the classes um, and uh, to learn from each other. Individuals that we attract to the program, uh, it is very diverse, as I say. Um, these are people who really have, they want to develop, to learn and to grow and have an aim to succeed and move forward um, and be really equipped for any challenges that may arise um, after the program, sometimes even during the program, even if we don't recommend that. Um, and I mean, in the classes, so it, it's not, it could be people, we have a lot of medical doctors, we have lawyers, we have engineers, we have people working within uh, entertainment, it could be music industry or art. Um, and we have researchers, we have people working in gold mine, it could be at Spotify um, and any kind of positions. So it's really, really diverse. And that is something that we really strive for due to the fact that the more diversity you have in the classes, the more perspectives you get in the classroom uh, and you open up for new um, insights and new learnings and learning to know new industries for the participants. And what happens uh, during the programs is we also have a leadership live program added to the so to, to, to the general management foundation. Uh, you will have your own coach uh, and you will really get to know yourself, uh, be more self-aware, be aware of what kind of leader you would like to be. So you're more, more equipped to be uh, the manager and the leader you would like to be afterwards. But we have a lot of people after the program, they have the holistic understanding of doing business. 
and are uh, ready to take on the CEO role, for example, that they want to have uh, or to start their own. We, we have a lot of people actually starting their own or being part of a startup uh, in, uh, adventure after the program. Uh, and that could be we do have an, an American lady now living and working in Norway, for example. She used to work within oil and gas. Um, had never thought about being an entrepreneur, but by being in our program, she realized I can do that. I can do this and, and why not? And then she, through an article, found a really interesting um, product she could work on. Uh, and now she is the CEO of this startup in Norway and uh, selling their product products to the Chinese market. So that's just one example. We also do have, um, a, a lady, she, she was head of uh, the Swedish Medical Association in Sweden, and now she's working uh, globally instead for a global uh, organization for for medical doctors uh, worldwide. So, uh, it, I mean, the program really prepares you to take on anything you would like to do. We have a lot of examples of that, but I mean, um, I think that is easier to, to find on our website or to contact us because we have that many. At the school, we do offer bachelor programs. Uh, we offer master programs, full-time master programs, and also the executive MBA program and PhD programs, of course. Um, and uh, um, the uh, bachelor and master programs, they are pre-experience programs. They are full-time. We are quite a small school and the executive MBA is a post-experience uh, program. We really build on all the experience that we have in our classes. Um, so for, for having a full-time MBA program that would really compete uh, both with resources and also uh, candidates for, for a full-time program in our master programs. So it becomes too close to our master programs. And that's why we have decided to fully focus on the executive MBA program, uh, which we have been running since 1992. So that is for a long time. So we are very experienced within that area and both uh, faculty and staff, uh, we really know that we can deliver in the executive MBA area. When it comes to different business areas that we focus on, um, if we talk about participants, we actually don't <laughs> focus on a specific area. This is a program for anybody in any industry or any position who really wants to thrive and to be able to actually move forward to your dream or whatever you have been inspiring for, but think that, that this might not be possible. During the program, you will really get to know uh, yourself and you will get so much input from the others in the program uh, who works in other industries. Um, and you will really learn what is possible for you. So for us, diversity is more, more important, but what the program does is to, we really do have the uh, global management perspective. Uh, that's what we have had in mind when we uh, developed and designed the program. So it's all about, and develop, developing as a leader in, in a global world in, and in a fast-paced global economy. So to be prepared to work and lead in, in uh, international organizations, that's the, the, the main aim and the biggest aim we have. So when it comes to the leadership live program that we have uh, as part of the program, this is something that most uh, candidates when they look for an executive MBA program, it's not really what they focus on. They want to have the hard stuff, uh, finance, strategy, um, operations, marketing and all of that. So they don't, this is kind of like an add on bonus that they don't really focus on. Uh, however, what we experience is that when they are in the program, they somehow realizes that this is actually 
one of the best parts of the program. Uh, you will have your own individual coach. Uh, you can choose from uh, a couple of coaches that we have, and you will have your own sessions with it with this coach. This coach will help you to make an inventory of your strengths and weaknesses, um, what you want to do, how to handle different challenges that you have at work. Um, you will be able to talk to this person, this coach, about things that you never talked to anybody before, your fears, um, your, if you feel you are lacking something, but also your goals and your dreams and what you would like to do, but perhaps think that you will not be able to do. And they really help you realize your full potential and what you are capable of doing and that it is possible. So um, I think that all say afterwards that the leadership live part, uh, live program part uh, of the program was really, really one of the most beneficial things that, that we had and that you grow a lot become much more self-aware and you realize the more self-aware I am on myself, uh, the better I am as a leader because I start to see the others as well uh, in a different way. And I will be able to address their challenges and help them and mentor them on their way because I'm stronger and more confident and, and I, I look at things differently. So when it comes to work-life balance, yes, that's a special <laughs> topic in Sweden. For Sweden, it's it's uh, it's normal, and it's uh, we also think that's the way it should be, like most things uh, that we do <laughs> in Sweden. But yeah, of course, we do work 40 hours a week um, in Sweden, and we have a lot of fika and. Uh, uh, it's different from the rest of the world. I, I would say for Sweden, it's not uh, that that's what we are used to. It's more as a surprise for the international participants in the program, but also our recent expats uh, attending the program. And they quickly learn, though, and really appreciate the Swedish way of life and, and work life because they realize that you will be able to uh, do other stuff than just work. You will have time for your own leisure time and do things that you want to do uh, outside uh, work. But what we do um, when we work with the program and the candidates and applicants to the program, because we do uh, meet a lot of people that work a lot, especially if you are a manager uh, and you have re staff reporting to you, you have all have important jobs and. Um, you are used to being a high performer and being among the best. You're quite competitive. Some people do also have problems in delegating because they want to be in control of everything. So and as part of the application process to our program, you also do a personality test. And we look that through before the admissions interview. And then we can see, we can we, we measure the work-life balance, for example. Uh, but we also measure things like uh, perfectionism, uh, control behavior. Um, so if we can see that people are high in these um, and perhaps low in work-life balance, we talk a lot about that during the interview, which could be for some people a bit um, um, shocking and uh, surprising, perhaps is a <laughs> kinder word. Uh, but then we talk a lot about their work life balance and uh, that you will not be able to work 60, 70, 80 hours and to do an executive MBA program because it is really demanding. And most also have families on top. So we, we talk about that you really need to prepare both at home um, because at home they will need to take more responsibility, um, but also at your workplace that um, uh, you need, if you work that much, you need to let something go. And then you need to prioritize that with your manager. And also that during a program week that you are left to focus on the program, not to be disturbed and stressed by work issues, um, which you quite quickly realized due to the fact that when you come back from a program week and you share what you learn and you're all uh, energized and 
uh, and in implementing new things and new ways of thinking and new ways of doing things. And they realize, oh, this was really good. We better let this person be during the program week because otherwise, I mean, you will not get as much back. But also the program is conducted Monday to Friday. So everybody has the weekend. So this program does not run on, on weekends. Um, it is very intense during the program week and it is the full, full week, Monday to Friday, and also during, uh, during evenings. Uh, and we also recommend that you take part of the social part of the program. So you have to tell at home you will not be home for dinner. Uh, you will work in different live projects during the evenings, but also socializing with the others in the group, because that's when you build the network. And to build the network, that's a really, really big, important part of the program. So socializing uh, is very important, but we work a lot. We talk a lot about the time commitment at, and you need to be prepared for that because we don't want you to be totally stressed out <laughs> and during the program, that's not healthy. So we do have a lot of people traveling in for our campus weeks actually, and from all over the world. Um, as said, we have a lot of different nationalities in the program and not all are expats in Sweden. So just to give you a few examples, we did have this Moroccan guy working in Canada. Uh, he was traveling in from Canada <laughs> to Sweden to do the program weeks. He was considering uh, Stockholm School Economics or Stanford, um, but uh, because we both have like innovation and entrepreneurship as, as part of what you can get from the program, depending on what you're choosing. Um, but also we were, um, a bit less uh, expensive than Stanford. <laughs> uh, and he wanted to explore, I mean, Swedish and Swedish way of doing things. We are very well known for Swedish business worldwide, so everybody knows that. Um, we had a guy traveling back and forth from Puerto Rico, um, part of a family business in Puerto Rico, the biggest, um, what do you say, um, uh, food, um, retailer uh, in Puerto Rico and he wanted to add also Swedish way of doing business learning from here but also to get a more um, diverse and international network um, because that you really get there all the different kind of um, nationalities we do have people traveling in from Saudi Arabia uh, from Russia, Azerbaijan. We had a guy working in Suriname for a gold mine. He was traveling in for the program, but unfortunately he got stuck during the pandemic. Um, we had an Australian guy uh, who moved to London to be able to do the program here because he wanted to know more about the Nordic and European uh, market for his family business. Um, we have a guy now who started the program in January. He's following the program totally online from uh, Atlanta, Georgia. So he starts his classes at three o'clock in the morning when we have campus weeks. So um, I, I would say it's really the Swedish way of doing business. The program layout that we have, it's an intense week that you can really plan into to your workload and uh, the diversity of the network that you get, but also the hands-on uh, learning experience that we have with our MBA live pedagogy and the, all the live projects that you do. So you, it's, it's a theory and science and research-based program, academic program, of course, but we try to put everything into practice as much as possible. So it's really um, a theory and practical um, oriented program. A very big part of the executive MBA uh, program is our MBA live part. So that is runs both from the, for the leadership live part that I already talked about with the coaching, inviting also um, interesting leaders uh, from business life, doing company visits uh, and so forth. 
Um, but all participants in the program, they pursue live projects in their own organizations or in somebody else's organization. So it's always organizations represented in the program. Somebody is employed there. Uh, also a bit unique um, here uh, in the in the this context is that most of our participants are fully financed by their employer so um, a little bit uh, around 70 percent so that's quite high are fully financed by their employer that also means that the employer normally wants to get something out of the program and this really opens up for doing real projects in the organization so you will work with real cases real challenges uh, it could be real change uh, and you work inside that organization and you present your findings to that organization. It's a possibility for somebody to give back to the organization where you work, also to showcase yourself in that organization that now uh, actually you can do other stuff than you did before and they are used to see you doing. All of a sudden you are talking about finance or strategy or marketing strategy or the processes in, in the operations in the organization and that's actually not really what you're working with. Um, but you will also have the possibility to work in and see other industries and how they work and you can feed that back into your organization, all the experience you get from that. And to work the, the live projects, they are part of the examination of the program. So you work in groups, it could be um, three to five or even more like up to seven, but normally smaller groups or around five. You de decide together whose organization to work on. Um, and um, um, these projects you do mainly outside class hours. So in between the program weeks, the campus weeks, you need to count for extensive uh, self-studies, but also these projects are supposed to be done outside. And you decide yourself how to do it. Sometimes you all live and work in, in Stockholm, Sweden, but most of the time you will have people in other time zones. Uh, but that's what you do at work normally anyway. So you, I mean, you need to adapt to this new normal that we have in the world. So you decide when you work on these different projects. Um, so, so that is, I mean, and also I would say since the program is very, very um, collaborative and we work a lot on having a collaborative learning environment, um, doing an executive MBA at Stockholm School of Economics, it's not something you do on your own. You do it together with the others. It's really important that you are interested in sharing your experiences and to learn together with the others, but also with the others and from the others uh, to be open because otherwise it will not work. You will do that many projects together um, and really build a great network and friendships for life since, since you are really working together all the time. So uh, yeah, the combination with uh, theory, models from faculty, and then the participants that bring the practice, but also the live projects. So it's all about using the models and theories and also examination when even if it's a written home exam, for example, you are more supposed to explain how this model would work if you would apply it in your organization or in this case. Uh, so it's, it's really more practical. Uh, oriented. I've been working at the school since 1998. That's very, very long time. Um, I'm really proud of the school. Uh, it's a super good school. Um, we are doing good things. Um, we are a big part of the Swedish society uh, and we really contribute. What I really appreciate is uh, the contribution and also the growth, the development we see in our participants and students at the school. And it's a small school, we work closely together. So me and Helena, for example, we've been working together with admissions and recruitment for 13, some 14, 14 years. Uh, we really know each other, we complement each other. 
we really appreciate meeting new people, uh, supporting uh, all the candidates that we have. Uh, we really build a relationship with our uh, applicants and our participants and our alumni. So we stay in, in touch. We also take part in the program. So me and Lena, for example, we normally join in for when we start on Monday morning, we always start with a reflection uh, from the week before. We take part in different activities. And now when we have been online, um, I join a half an hour before the program starts just to chat with the participants, uh, ask them how they are doing, are you coping back there in, 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 in Atlanta? Uh, it's very, very early mornings for you. Uh, but uh, I would say I'm a person, I'm a very socializing person, extrovert. I love, I get energy from other people. Uh, and I think we, we are a small team. Um, we do everything around the program. And it's really, really rewarding to see all the successes that our alumni have. Uh, all the growth and all the new challenges that they meet and uh, all the new positions or adventures they go on. Um, I just recently connected one guy moving to Australia with another one I know live in Australia. So I said, why well, you, you guys should meet your both super nice guys. I think you would appreciate uh, to, to connect and, and get to know each other. So um, it's very personal. Uh, and um, I, I'm, I'm very proud of the school, the program, the development of our participants. And uh, I really enjoy it.